Welcome to Quick Learn Tutorial Series. In this video, I will explain you push and pop instruction of 8051 microcontroller. This is lecture number 19 of microcontroller series. So let's start with the topic push and pop instruction of 8051 microcontroller. Push and pop instruction come under the category of data transfer instruction and these two instructions are stack related instruction. So first we know about what do you mean by stack. Stack is a memory location or we can say that stack is a section of data memory in 8051 microcontroller that is RAM which is used to store data temporarily. Uh, for example, whenever microcontroller dealing with interrupt, so to store the content of program counter and PSW flag register. So here we use stack area of memory or in any other operation performed by microcontroller, we use stack area to store data temporarily. So there is a register inside the CPU to point out this stack area that register is called stack pointer. So in 8051 microcontroller stack pointer register is basically 8 bit wide and it can take a value of 0, 0 to FFH. Uh, when the 8051 is initialized the stack pointer register contain the value of 07H. This is the default value of stack pointer. Again I will tell you when 8051 get initialized, the stack pointer register contain 07H value. It means 07H is the default value for stack pointer. Now, there are basically two operations performed in stack. First is push operation and second is pop operation. So, what do you mean by push and what do you mean by pop operation? In case of push operation, we push data or store data into the stack. And before pushing the data into the stack area, the stack pointer register is incremented by 1 automatically. Now next is pop operation. In case of pop operation, we retrieve data from the stack. And after retrieving data from the stack, the stack pointer register is decremented by 1 automatically. So, there is basically two operation. First operation is push. In case of push, we store data into the stack. And before pushing the data, stack pointer register is incremented by 1 automatically. Next operation is pop operation. In case of pop operation, we retrieve data from the stack. In that case, stack pointer register is decremented by 1 automatically. And as I have already told, when the 8051 is initialized, the stack pointer register contains the value 07H. It means the initial value of stack pointer is by default 07H. And if we want to push data into the stack, before pushing data, stack pointer is incremented by 1 automatically. This means that the stack location or the RAM memory location of 08H is the first location used for storing data. So these are some basic points related to push and pop operation. Now, push and pop operation is based on last in first out concept. Let us assume this is an stack area or the memory location where we push data and pop data. So let us assume in this stack area we pushed data element one by one. So the data element push in last come out from stack first. So that is why it is we say that stack is work on last in first out concept. Now here I explain the push instruction or pop instruction with the help of example how push and pop instruction work. So first is push instruction. As I have already told if we want to store data into the stack area of 8051 microcontroller that operation is called push operation. This operation is performed with the help of push instruction. So this instruction is used to copy or store data from the source address. 
given in the instruction into the stack area. This source address is any one of the register, any one of the memory location and before pushing data into the stack area, the stack pointer register is incremented by 1 automatically and then the content of register or memory will store on that stack location which is stored in stack pointer. Now move in the example. So here I will give an example how push instruction get work. So let us assume this is the stack area and here the address of the stack area is given. As I have already told when 8051 microcontroller get initialized the stack pointer default value is 07H. Now here these are the push instruction. First instruction is push 6. Next is push 1. And next is push 4. So the first instruction tell that push the data store in R6 register into the stack area. So to execute this instruction first we load R6 register with some value. So to load R6 register with some content or some value we use move instruction. So first we load R6 register, R1 register and R4 register with some value with the help of this move instruction. So first move instruction is move R6 comma hash 25H. In this instruction hash 25H is the immediate data and this instruction tell that this immediate data is copied into the R6 register. And when this instruction get executed R6 register is loaded with 25H value. Same as it is, the second move instruction is executed. When this instruction is executed, R1 is loaded with 12H value. And now third number move instruction, when this instruction get executed, R4 is loaded with F3H value. After that, these push instruction get executed. So, when first instruction, first push instruction get executed, as I have already told, before pushing data into the stack, the stack pointer is incremented by 1 automatically. So, the initial value of stack pointer is 0, 07. When we want to push data into the stack, before pushing data, stack pointer is incremented by 1. So, 0, 07 H plus 1 H that is equal to 08H. So, 08H means this is the first location where we push data. So, when this instruction get executed, the stack pointer point out 08H location and this instruction tell that push the content of R6 register into the stack area. So, R6 register contain 25H data. So, this data is pushed into the 08H memory location of RAM. Again, if I want to push another data into the stack, so we use push 1 instruction. This instruction tell that push the content of R1 register into the stack area. So, before pushing data into the stack area, again stack pointer is incremented by 1. 08H plus 1 that is equals to 09H. So, the next location where we put data is 09H. So, when this instruction get executed, where we store data? In the 09H location that is 12H. Again, stack pointer is incremented by 1. So, the next location where we push data that is 0A. Now, when this instruction get executed, we push data into the 0A memory location. So, in this way, we push data or store data into the stack area. Next instruction is pop instruction. In case of pop instruction, we retrieve data from the stack and store into the destination address. Destination address, any one of the memory location or any of the register. So, uh, in case of pop instruction, pop instruction is used to copy data or retrieve data from the stack area. To the destination address. In case of pop instruction, after retrieving data from the stack area, the stack pointer register is decremented by 1. So, 
here i explain with the help of this example let us assume this is the stack area and this these are the address of the stack area in case of pop instruction because here stack is full so stack pointer register always indicate the top value of the stack or top address of the stack so the initial value of stack pointer register is 0bh so when this first instruction get executed pop 4 this instruction tell that pop the data from the stack and store into the r4 register so from where we pop data we pop data from 0bh location because stack pointer indicate the 0bh location and this data is stored into the r4 register and after executing this instruction the stack pointer is decremented by 1 so the next location is 0ah this is indicated by stack pointer now when next instruction get executed pop 1 this instruction tell that retrieve data from the stack and store into the r1 register so we retrieve data from 0ah location of stack and store into the r1 register after execution of this instruction stack pointer is decremented by 1 so after decrement stack pointer is point out 09h location so when this instruction get executed this instruction tell that retrieve data from stack and store into the r6 register so we retrieve data from 09 location that is 76 and store into the r6 register again stack pointer is decremented by 1 so stack pointer locate or indicate 08 h location so in this way we retrieve data from stack and stack pointer register is decremented by 1 so these are the push and pop instruction of 8051 microcontroller these instruction are stack related instruction and come under the category of data transfer instruction so if you want to detail study of data transfer instruction so please refer my lecture number 14 where i discuss in detail data transfer instruction hope you like the video for more interesting video please like subscribe and share my channel with your friends and classmates.